Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas alongside Frankie Sines, who meets Uriah Faber this Saturday on the UFC 194 prelims. Big featured fight Saturday night, Fox Sports 1, one of the biggest fight cards of the year, and you're a part of it. You're fighting a legend. What was your reaction when you got the call you'll be facing Uriah Faber on this card? I'm excited. You know, this is, uh, this is a point in my career where I've always envisioned myself. You know, I was just ready for this fight, and, uh, you know, I actually asked for this fight. You know, and I, I, you know, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't too surprised when I found out, like, you know, he would take the fight. So you asked the UFC to fight Faber? Well, I read an article that said he couldn't find a fight. You know, he wanted to fight this weekend. So, you know, I called Jason, my manager, and be like, hey, dude, I'll fight him. Let's set it up. You know, and a couple days later, like, all right, you know, let's sign it. Let's get it going. Now, you're undefeated in the UFC, but let's be honest, you haven't fought anyone with the name like Uriah Faber, right? Did you think, all right, I'm going to ask for it, but I'm probably not going to get it, or do you think you had a good shot? Um, you know, I thought I had a good shot, you know, just because I kind of know the division a little bit. I know who's fighting. I know who's not. You know, I know who's willing to fight. And, uh, you know, I kind of figured, you know, if he really wants to fight, you know, he'll take it. And, you know, that's kind of what happened. He's been embroiled in this uh, feud controversy with TJ Dillashaw and all that, and, and TJ is obviously fighting Dominic Cruz next. But it's almost like people are kind of wishing to see that fight and overlooking you to a degree. Have you paid attention to that stuff, and does it annoy you? Uh, a little bit. You know, I mean, it doesn't really annoy me. You know, I just, um, you know, I know everybody wants to talk about that stuff. But, you know, TJ still got to beat uh, Dominic Cruz, which I think is, a, <laughs> you know, a tall task for him. Um, but you know it doesn't you know it doesn't bother me at all you know hopefully he overlooks me and you know I'm good I'm good with that Your manager Jason told me that you're predicting you'll be fighting Dominic Cruz for the belt in 2016 is that accurate <laughs> Or is that uh, just him talking oh, you up Oh man you know I mean I hope so you know that's kind of the plan you know I think Dominic Cruz is going to beat TJ Dillashaw you know I obviously think I'm going to beat Uriah you know so uh, we'll see what happens what do you think he's at in his career now? He's coming off that disappointing performance against Frankie Edgar. It always seems like he, he wins in those non-title fights, but that was sort of an outlier for him. Do you, do you feel like he's on the, the downward slope, or was that sort of you know just a bad performance against an amazing opponent? I mean, you know, you can't take anything away against Frankie Edgar. I mean, he's one of the best. You know, I think he'll be fighting for the belt, you know, at 145 after this fight. Um, you know, but, I mean, he's been fighting the best for a long time, you know, and I think people pay new – pay close attention to kind of what he's doing but I mean he's fighting the best guys you know and he's beating a lot of them so you know I, I just I think he's you know just as good as he was you know a couple years ago. Faber a pioneer for the smaller guys below 155 as you were coming up was he someone that you a admired watched but also dreamt of fighting is this sort of like a dream come true scenario for you? Yeah, you know, I kind of always envision myself, you know, I was like, dude, if, I, if I'm fighting Uriah Faber, like, I'm making it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's kind of come to fruition, and, uh, you know, I'm excited about it. He's somebody, you know, I've looked up to, you know, some of my sons look up to, you know, a lot of young people. I think he's he's great for the sport as far as, like, a role model and just, just, just the way he carries himself, you know, and, you know, who's not a fan of Uriah? How old are your kids? You know, I got a 15-year-old and a 12-year-old. and uh, three You look 15 years old. You got a 15-year-old? That's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, man. 15, 12, and 3? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So the 15 and 12-year-old, they, they know who Faber is. They're a fan of his. Oh, yeah. You know, they got all their buddies. You know, they got all their buddies talking trash and stuff like that. But, you know, it's fun. It's fun. Are they coming to the fight? No, no, they're not coming to this one. Uh, I think, well, he went to Nashville last time, but uh, we're just going to keep him home for Vegas. And how do you feel, like, if they say to you, we want to be a fighter as well, like, like our dad, would you be okay with that? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, I want, I want him to wrestle in college, you know, kind of their thing is he has a wrestling tournament this weekend. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, I kind of want him to go that route as far as just getting their education and getting everything, you know, they don't have to fight. So it's a big weekend for the Science family. That's that's great to hear. How do you foresee the fight playing out? This is a big one, obviously. Yeah, you know, I've seen it as a grind. You know, a lot of Uriah fights are, you know, a lot of grinds where he, you know, kind of takes control, you know, mid-second, end of the third, you know, and I just got to keep up with the pace. I feel it's going to be an exciting fight, you know, hopefully be fight of the night, and uh, I think we're going to get after it. Looking forward to it. Good luck. Hey, thanks, Ariel. Appreciate it.